Incarnation Realty Group, we are evolving every single moment with our new experiences. Have you thought about what is the best storage for our intellectual assets for real estate investors? As a real estate investors deal with the physical space, so we take a lot of pictures and a lot of videos and a lot of write-ups along with countless documentations. These are our intellectual assets. We should not undermine. We need a space to store it. The storage has to have a mobility on the go with us all the time, globally, wherever we go, right? The possibility intellectual storage could be OneDrive, Google Drive, iDrive, iCloud, pCloud, Dropbox, or Sync. These are out there for now. For sure, more to come. Which cloud storage do you use? I use OneDrive. Then some people ask me, what is the OneDrive? It is cloud storage provided by Microsoft. Then second question follow. What does it mean to store our files in the cloud? We store our intellectual assets in Microsoft Computer Central Server. They have many different data centers all over the world. We are storing our intellectual assets one of those data centers in Microsoft. <laughs> That's another question. What are the benefits of storing our files in the cloud? Oh, there are so many benefits. But if you simply say three, number one, we can back up our files. Our home computers, desktops, laptops, or tablet can break. We need to back up, right? And number two, another benefit is that we can access our files from anywhere. As a real estate investors, we invest globally. We need to access our files anytime, anywhere. Number three, we can share and collaborate the networking. We share fire and continue to work with whoever we share that link, the fire, anywhere in the planet. How can we get the OneDrive? Easy peasy. On PC, OneDrive comes with Windows 10 pre-installed. We don't have to do anything. It is there. And if you have older version, Windows 7, Windows 8, upgrade to the Windows 10 for free. No problem. On Mac, we can install OneDrive as well without any problem. We can use OneDrive on laptop, desktop, phone, and tablets. How we can we get the on the phone? On Microsoft OneDrive, iPhone, or Android phone, we can download and install the OneDrive. Click the Play Store or App Store and searching the Microsoft OneDrive and click installed. That's it. We can have a OneDrive on our phone for less than a minute. So we can access a while we are on the go from anywhere. How do we actually start using OneDrive and what do we do next? Let me show you. So once we install the OneDrive, the bottom corner here, this is OneDrive icon. So when you're hovering and we're going to click OneDrive icon, we see already items here on the bottom open folder or view online. So we have a trivet recycle bin. So for now, we're going to do open folder. See the open folder here. Open folder, we can have a status. This status is we can see the cloud. Then it's only on the cloud. And then here circle with a check mark. Then we saved cloud as well as our computer. This can Two arrows circle around means still we process. They have a person on it. They show us the sharing with somebody. Right click. Then have here we can view, change the icon sizes or list and view online settings, more pictures. You click one. Then we can have folder. Let's say if it's we're going to share sharing icon. This is also recycle delete. This is rename it and copy and cut. We are everyday using Microsoft. This is open, open paint, paint 3D, photo, snipping tools. We can do anything here as in the setting of the background. Rotate right and left picture. This is the OneDrive share with history, written also vision of history. Who came to see this picture? So we can go back to history of those. And then let's say right click. If we want to click the share, the click the person, email, and then we can this person share it. And we have choices here. They can come and edit it or they can just view it. Or we just send the link. There's a very the link. Then 
we can limit only view and then also we can setting up the expiry date in two days three days one hour or the one month the setup expiry date that's sharing so cure so we can setting up the password and send them password to join in and then also here we can block the download for sharing with anybody but and send while we sharing we can have a lot of control always keep on this device so if we were out of Wi-Fi or out of internet, we can still working on any device you access to and then type onedrive.live.com. Then you can sign in, so all photos and access the fire or OneDrive or year, this is $79. As a real estate investor, we take a lot of pictures and a lot of videos and a lot of writing. It should not go waste. So we have to store mobility security. I respect all other cloud storage. I use the time to time as well. However, OneDrive is the best for me to use as a real estate investor. I'm so used to use Microsoft, so very confident to using it and pretty secure with several protection features. Also, it saves automatically both cloud space, device I using it, enough space. So far, it is the best of all. It worth it. Do you want to try it? Everyone can be pro investors if you do quick action. Not only thinking, not only understanding, not only you know it. Has to be followed by actions. If you agree, thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you for watching. See you next video.